Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. This time, I'm gonna give you three examples of how you can make your lists easier for you and your team to read and look awesome at the same time. The list I have here is some imaginary department stores in the UK and how much revenue they've earned and which country they're in. I've formatted the columns to make it easier to see the separate rows in the list, which stores are doing well and easily see whereabouts in the world they are. The three types of formatting I've used here are alternating row styles, choice pills and data bars. So let's take a look at each one in turn. The simplest way to make your list easier to read is to use alternating row styles. This format shades a row in one color and the next in another. And you can see here in my list, I've chosen white and gray. It just makes it easier to see where one row ends and the next one begins, especially when there's lots of rows. To use this format, you go up to the views menu at the top right hand side of the list, drop this down and you'll see an option labeled format current view. Then choose alternating row styles. You'll see the default row style, which is gray and white, applied to the list. And if you want to pick the colors, you can choose the edit row styles link. Next, you can choose the odd and even row styles. Go to the formatting button to the right of the sample and you can choose the other color. And if you choose the more styles link, you can even format the font and the borders of the row as well. And when you're happy with the way it looks, choose save and you're done. The next formatting option is the choice pill. This one is only available for choice columns. A choice column is a column that has a number of pre-created items that you could choose from, from a dropdown or a checkbox. For example, this country column in my list is a choice column and has three items available for me to choose, England, Scotland, and Wales. To use this format on an existing choice column, just go to the name of the column. Here, my column is called country. Drop the menu down, choose column settings, and then format this column. On the right hand side now, you can choose choice pills and then choose edit styles you'll see that it picks up values already in your list and gives them a color. You can save the formatting now and the colors will be applied to all the values in your column. And if you like, you can hit the formatting button on the right here and change the color of the pill. You'll see the changes take effect immediately as you make them. You could also choose the more styles link at the bottom here. And again, you can change the font and the icon and what the borders look like. When you're happy, just press save. And also note that if I create a new choice column in this list by choosing the add column link, and then I choose choice, it will default to using the choice pill format. So all I need to do is add in the choices and choose the colors. My last formatting tip is to use data bars. This is how I presented the revenue in this column to show me the plus and minus numbers in different colors so I can easily see which stores are doing well and which ones aren't. This formatting type is for number columns only. In my revenue column, I have plus and minus values to show the store revenue. If I go to the title of the column, choose the drop down, and then choose column settings and then format this column, I'm offered two types of formatting on the right hand side and I'll choose data bars. When I choose data bars, it will add the bars to the column and color them according to their value. You can see here that the minus values in red and the plus values are in blue. If I want to change the color of the bars, I can just choose edit template and then go to the data bar color and choose the color palette button. I'm going to make the positive values here green. Again, hit save and you're done. So there you go, there's three tips on how to make easy to read and awesome looking lists. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.